Hi, I'm Dr. Harrison. Welcome to my hobby. I'm not a teacher, I'm a pathologist. Now, if you haven't met a pathologist before, we're sort of a doctor's doctor behind the scenes. I work in a hospital laboratory, I diagnose cancer, and I do dissection with a scalpel and forceps every single day. So this is a perfect hobby for a pathologist who loves animals. Digital Frog 2.5 is my favorite virtual dissection software. I don't own stock in this company and I don't get paid by anybody to say that. It's actually three programs in one. Dissection is the slicing and dicing, as we say in pathology. Your computer mouse turns into a scalpel. The anatomy and physiology textbook explains the structures that we just dissected, and the ecology section is entirely unique. No other software has anything like the ecology section. Before we start dissecting, you have to see some of my favorites here. Here's the life cycle of a frog, the eggs, the tadpoles, and the juveniles. Click here to see the life cycle movie. An egg turns into a tadpole, turns into a frog. It's metamorphosis in five seconds or less. Here's another favorite of mine. Visiting North America, we could learn about any of these different species of frogs. Here's the world famous bullfrog. So get it, we're looking at him or her through binoculars. And here's a map of the species geographic distribution. These are their vital statistics. They get up to about eight inches in length. And here's what they sound like. <laughs> I love Digital Frog's ecology section because it reminds students that these animals are alive. Biology is the study of life, not dead things, and living frogs make a lot of noise. So now let's start dissecting. We could begin with the head, or the body cavity, or the legs. But let's do the legs. The instructions tell us to connect the dots. If we do it well enough, a movie will play down here. The skin on the thigh is removed by making three cuts a longitudinal cut from the groin to the knee, and two transverse cuts, one below the groin, and the other above the knee. The skin can now be peeled back. Notice how easily it comes away from the muscle. Next, cut the thin membrane covering the muscles. All of the software programs I've seen have movies, but they're usually small and down in the corner of the screen. Digital Frog is the only program that has big movies that fill up the whole screen. One of the leg muscles can now be isolated, cut, and pulled back. Well, let's learn more about that muscle that we just dissected. In the musculoskeletal chapter, we'll click on skeletal muscle and click this magnifying glass. Here's the muscle that we just dissected. If we enlarge again, we'll see that skeletal muscles are made of fascicles. And we'll see that fascicles are made of myofibers. And myofibers, in turn, are made of myofibrils. If you don't know how to say that word, it's defined for us and spoken. Myofibril. Enlarging again, we'll see that myofibrils are comprised of thousands of sarcomeres. These are the thick filaments of myosin and the thin filaments of actin. If I were teaching a class, I would tell the students, flex your biceps muscle. That's thousands of sarcomeres sliding over each other, so the biceps get short and fat as it pulls up the forearm. If you like, we can put these sarcomeres back into the myofibril, and so on. The accompanying text describes this structure of skeletal muscle concisely and elegantly. There's not a wasted word or an awkward phrase. Digital Frog is a class act, top to bottom. So for a change, let's go into the body cavity, and now we'll dissect the heart. The instructions tell us to, to connect these dots, and then a movie will play. First, cut away the pericardium surrounding the heart. Be careful not to accidentally slice the ventricle while making these cuts. 
We can pause these movies anytime we want, and we can point out the rest of the structures in view. So this thin glistening membrane is the pericardial sac, and the three-chambered heart is inside. Here's the trilobe liver. This large structure is the stomach, obviously filled with a lot of food, and then these are loops of bowel. Back to the movie. Next, sever the two truncus arteriosii. Then, lift the heart to sever the caudal vena cava. The heart can now be removed. A cut along the length of the heart allows it to be opened, exposing its internal structure. So let's learn more about the frog heart. Here's a diagram of the frog heart with all the major chambers and vessels labeled. Here's the right atrium, the left atrium, and the single ventricle. If we start the flow of blood, we can see that deoxygenated blood moves into the right atrium, and oxygenated blood moves into the left atrium. They both pour into the single ventricle, which then outflows through the conus arteriosus. For comparison, we can take a look at a four-chambered heart. Here's a diagram of a human heart with four chambers. So Digital Frog is my favorite program for three reasons. Dissection movies are large, they fill up the screen. The anatomy text has amazing computer graphics that explain the dissection we just performed. And the ecology section reminds us always that these animals are alive. You've seen a six-minute peak of a program that's about six hours in length.